Hello, ladies and gents. It's your girl, Miss Charlotte, and it's kind of late, but I just really felt um, compelled to do this video because as of late, I would say for like the last two weeks, I've just been feeling like, ugh, you know, don't want to do anything. I just want to eat something really good, something fattening like lasagna, and I want to just have a cocktail and I want to watch Netflix and I really just don't want to do anything. I've been doing that now for the last two weeks and then I looked up and saw how much weight I gained and uh, I was just like, oh, okay. Um, so I just kind of want to talk to you about, you know, just falling into that rut. We all have issues how we deal with our issues, that is truly the difference. And when I talk to you guys, I always tell you, I'm also talking to myself. We have to deal with our issues because if we don't, they're gonna deal with us. So I always say this too, knowing the problem is half of it solved. So I already know the problem, you know, I just fell off the wagon for a couple of weeks and just like, just everything, the COVID, the election, you know, and now the season, you know, is changing. So it's getting darker, you know, colder. So I just kind of want to stay in bed. But at the end of the day, I know the problem. So half of it solved. So now I know it's like, all right, time to get back on it, get acclimated with the weather and start tapering myself off, start eating better and healthier. And, uh, you know, just get back to what I love, which is running. So I just have to kind of adjust and, you know, that's a little bit easy for me, but I wanted to talk to people who it may not be that easy for you. So I just want you to do a mental check. How are you feeling? How are you dealing with everything that's going on? And uh, it could be stuff that's been going on even before before quarantine, even before COVID-19, you could have already been dealing with something and then all of this stuff just piled on. Take the time to think about yourself and your mental state and your health. How are you feeling? You know, what are you, what are you doing? Are you overeating? Are you drinking too much? Are you smoking too much? Are you stressing yourself? Do you feel depressed? Do you feel lonely? I know the holidays is coming. We can't travel, you know, for Thanksgiving to go see our family. Uh, we can't go anywhere. We can't do anything. So it's just kind of, like I said, it's just blah. And I've been feeling it. And uh, I'm getting myself slowly but surely out of it. You know, the funk, the blahness. But if you are feeling heavy, like really, really heavy, crying a lot, if you're having suicidal thoughts, if you're angry, if you just want to beat up somebody or just be violent, it's understandable, but try to just take some time and to feel what you're feeling and then be aware of it and try to make some steps to dig yourself out. So I'm going to share some links in the description for different hotlines, you know, it could be um, depression, it could be suicidal. Um, unfortunately, I read that some people are stuck in quarantine with their abuser. I just wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, you know, so I'm praying for you that the abuser would just stop you know, and I know that's wishful thinking, but I'm going to put a hotline in for that. If you can just sneak away and make a call. Um, it's just a lot right now. And I just really want to let you know that I'm thinking about you and that I hope that you think about yourself. Give yourself some time and figure out what do you need to do. Do you need to call a friend? Do you need to call a family member? Do you need to call a professional? And don't be ashamed. Just do it because you can't be in this funk forever. You have to come out of it. And if you can't depend on anyone else to help you, 
figure out how to depend on yourself and how to get yourself out of it. So again, I'm going to share some links in the description and hopefully one of these links, if you need it, will be there for you. And um, I'll pray for all of us that we could just come out of this 2020 with our sanity, you know, with our health, with our right mind and um, just emotionally better. That's what I wish for you today. So anyway, if you understand what I'm talking about, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. As I always say, we can agree to disagree. Just keep it cute. Any hate, it will get deleted. And um, I'm not even going to ask you to follow me or any of that kind of stuff today. Just take care of yourself. Do whatever you need. Check out the links in the description and just take some time to think about your health and your mental state and your well-being.